song and dance rent the air in the otherwise ever quiet village of Riyaki in Igembe South constituency. <laughs> Residents celebrating what they termed as an unbelievable time of their son John Paul Murigi in the race for Igembe South parliamentary seat in the just concluded general elections. Igembe South na anatu mechagua kiongozi mwema na tatusa India na ataongoza watu Igembe Viema. On arrival at the homestead, a short ritual ceremony is performed on him to not only bless him but also protect him from evil. Yo. Kimila tulikuwa tunafanya ni kwamba John Paul Jumatatu alitoka nyumbani akiwa John Paul lakini tumemkaribisha nyumbani akiwa honorable John Paul Mwirigi MP Igembe South it was indeed the realization of his dream he had now since 2013 while a Form 3 student at Kirindine Day Secondary School of becoming the next member of parliament for Igembe South. Coming from a humble background, most of his friends and local leaders mocked him after he went public over his intentions. Wakati alikuja na kaniambia ataka kuombea kiti cha ubunge la Igembe South. Tuliketi tukaongea na nikamwambia aendele kwa ile mikutano ya wazazi tumekuwa nayo shuleni nimekuwa nikimuita mara mingi na kuja na ngana wazazi na waomba kuwa na wanawambia mambo yake yenye anaenda kuwafanyia John Paul has been working as a border border operator and as casual laborer while on holidays for his school fees as such so discouraging our opinions to the effect that for one who lacked school fees he would have been under the influence of drugs to think of becoming their MP. Kwanza hizo campaign so mwaka tulipata changamoto nyingi sana. Kwa maana watu walio na uongozi hapo walikuwa nasema sisi tunakunywa pombe, tunavuta bangi. Sasa zingine natembea mguu huku mpaka ikafikia mahali chief wa eneo hili akaja hapa akaniripoti kwa mwalimu mkuu. Akaambia mwalimu mkuu mimi navuta bangi na nitaribu wale wanafunzi wengine. Na mwalimu mkuu aliniita but for John Paul, now a third year education student at the Mount Kenya University, his was unstoppable mission. Tukua tunaindiwa kazi, lakini hizi kazi atuku zipata. Na nikaona ya kwamba, mimi nikua kijana na nikua mmoja wa wale ambao wanatafuta kazi, ni kitafuta e kazi, nitajua kuwa shugulike awa vijana wenzangu. And with the odds of poverty stacked up against him, the sixth born in a family of eight could not even afford to print his campaign posters. And Paul, ni mulio akati alikuwa na fanya kasi uko kigembe tif factory. Wakati kuwa na peleka kuni uko. Ni mguuto kuwa kuwa na beba kuni, kupanga kuni, tu kuwa tu na mulipa na wakube kimitas. Wapo ni likuwa na tembea mugu, alafu wa bijano wa bonda bonda. Hizi wiki mbili za mwisho hapa nao wakatengeneza jutis za kuwa wananipeleka mahali ambapo nataka kukimbia na wapa shukura ni nyingi pia nyinyi wote kwa jumla sababu najua kufika kwangu hapo nimefika hama kuchukua huo ngozi si eti nimepata huo ngozi kwa sababu ya vile niko na nguvu lakini nimepata huo ngozi kupitia kazi yenu ama vile ambavyo mlijitolea his gray sweater became his characteristic campaign attire as he banked on his humility to endear himself to the electorate <laughs> and while conducting his campaigns mostly on foot or on rare occasions on a motorbike from a well wisher he could not forget to remind his supporters to look for that sweater on the ballot paper come the voting day metembea hapa tukua tunakimbishana nao hao watu walikuwa wanamwaga pesa nyingi lakini pia wana, uh, pia hao wanaichi ama hao watazamaji hao walinikubali despite the numerous challenges he faced during campaigns he managed to upset the scene so much that some of his opponents attempted to buy him out of the race his determination however buoyed him over the challenges and distractions and indeed he floored big weeks in the race including jubilees joseph miriti mureria and former meru deputy governor rafael muriungi of dp among two others hao watu walikuwa wananindunisha sana sababu walikuwa hata wanaambia wananchi 
John Paul hajui kuvaa kama hiyo pulova ambayo unaona nimevaa walikuwa wanauliza sasa kama huyo kijana hajui kuvaa vizuri anja vaa suit mbona mpatie kura zenyu na hajui kujipanga vizuri having experienced first and the challenges that residents have faced over the years he seems to have the solutions for them and especially the youth John Paul nasema hapa Igembe South nataka kukusafisha sababu ukienda kwingine kuna nyaya za, za umeme lakini hakuna umeme zile tu ni kuangikwa zimeangikwa kule kwa vile vikingi lakini hazifanyi kazi ukienda kwa hizi barabara sana sana barabara za serikali ya kitaifa hazifanywi na ni mbaya na wale wale ambao wanatumia hizi barabara ni hao wananchi wa Igembe and as he awaits his swearing in at the August House, he is extending an olive brine to his competitors for a united Gembe South for the common good of the residents. Ningechaka kuambia mahali pale popote au mapopote pale walipo. Mimi John Paul sina shinda yoyote. Najua ni mengi mlikuwa mmepanga kuwafanyia wananchi wa Igembe. John Paul niko tayari kufanya kazi na nyinyi. Kwa hivyo sisi sio maandui. Kwa hivyo na hatufai kuwa maandui. Amid it all, he is more indebted to his dear mother and family. Ningetaka kuambia mama yangu asante kwa ile kazi ambayo ulinifanyia. Umenipa masomo ya kutosha, umenipeleka shule pale nimesoma vya kutosha. Na pia sasa nimepata uh, ja, nimepata kivali katika eneo bunge la Igembe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh,